Hey everybody, Captain Murphy here. Going to do a quick update on one of the objects that's been kind of bugging me for a while, and that's really the buoyancy of these boats. I've had a lot of issues I've run into with the cry engine and trying to get objects to connect together and move the center of gravity and things like that. What I've got now is a entity that allows you to tie all the objects together, like I've explained in my previous videos. Well, I've expanded that now to actually add mass to the physicalized objects. If you look at the hull and then you actually add on a mast to the top of it, the mast weighs a thousand kilos and that actually affects the buoyancy of the vessel and it affects the riding moment if the vessel begins to heal. Right now I've got the vessel set to have a hundred thousand kilos of weight and it's no longer using an all over mass number. It's using a very specific object inside the boat that weighs a hundred thousand kilos is held at the center of gravity. Think of it as a little miniature black hole at the very center of the boat you know, high mass, um, very small object. So we've got a 100,000 uh, kilo object, which is about one centimeter square in the middle of the boat. We are going to be able to have multiples of these things. So every time you put an object in the boat and you have to shift it around, like if you have a cargo bay and you want to add cargo to the boat, if you say put 30,000 kilos into a forward cargo bay, we can actually simulate that now by adding say 30,000 kilos, and we will make it, um, let's go two meters forward of the center of gravity. Um, okay, so I've added 30,000 kilos, and you see we didn't really change too much, but we did change trim a little bit. Let's go ahead and move it uh, four meters forward. All right, now you see that our trim did change. We haven't shifted that center of gravity for the hull. We left it right where it was, but we added 30,000 kilos in a new position inside the boat, and so now our position changes. If we up that to, say, 60,000 kilos, you can see we get a more aggressive trim out of this. Now, the same thing goes for damage objects, too. So if we have the same object here, and we'll just go ahead and zero this out, and we'll make it as 100,000 cargo. So we're getting a little closer to our waterline here. Now, if we get to a point where we have damage at this point, and we take on 75,000 kilos of water, with that 75,000 kilos, if it is one meter to the starboard side, while still interacting with just the two other objects, the, the hull and the cargo, this is the heel we get. If we did not have the cargo on board, and we still had that same 75,000 kilos of damage, even though we sit a little higher, we have a higher heel because of the riding moment of the boat. And we don't have to do any calculations. The engine's doing it all for us. All we do is we tell it what weight, what object, and where the object is. And now we have the ability to have very dynamic buoyancy and stability models. Anyways, thought I'd give you guys a quick update and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.